So for 43, um, it tells us that a CAT scan produces um, equally spaced cross-sectional views. And then it, it's telling us that it produced um, an image of a liver that is 15 centimeters long. So um, this length from here to here, that is 15 centimeters, and it produced them at an interval of uh, 1.5 centimeters. So it gave us, um, it, it is plotting here, I guess, area on this, on this height, it's the area, right? And so it gives us a bunch of, of points and areas associated with them. So I've gone ahead and I've plotted these points and it wants us to uh, estimate the volume using the midpoint rule. Now, volume is just, um, it's just area. It is just the area times, uh, times height, right? If you were to have some kind of solid like this, you would need the base area and then the height and this would give you a, a volume. So um, over here, we're going to use the midpoint rule. Now, the midpoint rule tells us to get uh, the midpoint in an interval, right? And then to use the, the height here to approximate the height of that interval. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this midpoint here and then approximate that using our first interval. So this here has an area of, uh, the height is 18. The height is 18. Um, and, sorry, rather in case the, the area, to be more precise, that is 18, right? And then for the next one, we are going to have, uh, we're going to estimate using 79, because that's the next midpoint. So we extend it to the left and we extend it to the right. Um, and that gives us a height of 79. Uh, for the next one, we are going to do, take the next midpoint, which is 106. So we extend it to the left, to the right. Um, that gives us 106. And then um, the next midpoint is at 128. So we're gonna take it at 128, extend it both ways. That is 128. And lastly, we are going to have our next midpoint at 39, which goes like this and like that. Um, okay, so we have a height for all of these, a height, actually an area, right? And um, on, on the x-axis, I'm actually, I'm gonna put here, uh, I guess the height you could call it, because um, we're going to multiply area times height to get a volume. So we have here 18, and notice that the whole, uh, this whole length here is 15, and then we're dividing it into five equally spaced um, cross sections. So each of them is going to have a, uh, a base, right? A base of three. So we're gonna have here a base of three. So this is three, 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 and so on. So basically, um, to sum up these volumes, which we have area times the the height or the length of the base, um, we are going to get, let's see, I'm gonna, three times 18 plus three times 79 plus three times 106 plus three times 128 and then plus three times 39. So we're basically just taking um, the base and then multiplying it by the area of each midpoint. Um, and so when we sum that, we're going to get, let's see, 18 plus 79 plus 106 plus 128 plus 39, and all of this times 3. So in the end, this will give us um, 100 and, 1,110 centimeters cubed. And we know that it's centimeters cubed because the area is in centimeters squared, and uh, the height, this one, each one's going to be a height of three, right? So each one has uh, centimeters here. So when we multiply it, it does give us the units of volume.